Good evening, fellow survivalists. I am Ashton Kutcher. Um, you may know me. I served four tours of duty in Desert Storm. Um, and, and then I took my R&R &R time in Baghdad. Um, and ever since then, I have been developing um, weapons technology for Big Bad 509 Industries. Um, you may know us from the uh, Waffle Iron. Um, that was an attachment we mounted on the AR-15. Um, this here, what we have is the newest piece of cutting edge weapons technology for the tactical addict. And I know you probably already got your four grips and infrared sights and night vision sights and fiber optic sights and flash suppressors and flashlights and whatever other crap you can uh, put onto your, your weapon system. But this weapon system, this is the uh, model 1891. 2012 Mosin Nagant Kutcher, um, and it's called that because I basically reinvented the wheel with this thing. Um, you may notice a lot of the accessories here look very similar to um, the older, antiquated, uh, basically obsolete Mosin Nagant. Um, so, so the ammunition pouches are the same. Uh, they're interchangeable. The bayonet uh, will fit the same. Strip clips we still use the same 7.62 by 54 ammunition. Um, you, you may be looking over here, wondering, what is this? This is uh, Tillamook. It's from Tillamook, Oregon. Uh, it's very good cheese. Uh, this is called Jack. Um, and then, um, this is the Safeway brand tomato soup. You know, some people prefer Campbell's. Uh, Safeway is just as good for me. Except the long trip store, I'd go Campbell's. And uh, some bread. Just Western family, right? Uh, really, any bread will do. And uh, but this, this thing is what makes this weapon system unique. And that is the sandwich maker. Um, you can make ham and cheese sandwiches with it. I prefer just regular uh, grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato soup, just like my mama used to make. But uh, what this weapon system does is it combines the best of both worlds. Because when you're on the move, when the shit hits the fan, um, you're going to need to be constantly on the move, and you're going to need to constantly be eating. Um, and for that reason, I combine these two systems, both the culinary and weapon systems, into one advanced weapon system and that has a uh, has a sandwich maker permanently attached. This is a print you cannot get it off. Um, these are only available from me. Uh, Gunsmith will not be able to get a sandwich maker on there. Do not try it at home. It's very dangerous. I do sell these online for six fifty. Um, if you saw this on survivalistboards.org or com, whichever it is, I will give you a hundred dollar discount. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm the only one to get from and this, uh, you can see it, it's really not heavy at all. Uh, it does not affect your aiming. It actually improves because it serves as a mount as well. You can just set it down. You don't have to waste all that energy holding your rifle up. Um, you can just set it down and, you know, bang, dead krauts or zombies or Canadians or whoever it is that's going to come and get your food. Um, and you can see it's, it is permanently attached. And in order to use this uh, the culinary system on this, this is, you know, once you, you know, you get done popping whoever it is that's, you know, posing a threat to your mind over here, you, uh, you fill your belly with a sandwich by undoing the thingy. And here we have the fully functional sandwich maker. This, again, is the model 1891-2012 Mosin the Gant Kutcher. Straight to you from Big Bad 509 Industry, the purveyors of high-tech, tactical weapons technology. Isn't she a beauty? I, I can't get enough range time with this thing. I'd probably put 12,000 rounds at least through it. Um, hasn't had a single misfire, failure to feed, failure to eject. Um, every single round is good. Even the 50s production rounds will work just fine in there, no problems. Um, oh yeah, another thing um, what this is good for is uh, if you want to cook something else other than sandwiches that it won't really look right there, is, uh, this works as a skewer. So um, if you bag like a squirrel or perhaps a rabbit with this, you can make a squirrel or rabbit kebab, and uh, you just open it slightly and just insert it with the meat in there and fold it. You know it's good when you start feeling the uh, the heat getting to your hand 
that's how you know that the meat is cooked enough. So when the because it, it's heated up enough that it's gone through the meat into the metal and it has traveled down the metal in your hand, that's um, that's how you know that a, a rabbit or a squirrel is fully cooked when using the uh, Muslim again with your weapon system. Um, as I'm as always, there's going to be a lot of questions about this, and I am more than happy to answer your questions. I'm going to be demonstrating this in the future, um, both on the range and in the kitchen. Um, so, post your response videos or do whatever. It's the Ask Ashton Show. Again, I'm Ashton Fisher, and uh, I'll be setting up. Till next time.